Here we're gonna look at a nice quick geometry problem. So let's say we've got this rectangle. We've got a side length of six up here, and then we've got this height of eight. And then inside of that, we've got these four circles. These two white circles are tangent to the top line segment, which is creating the rectangle, and the bottom line segment, which is creating the rectangle at their midpoint. So that's important that that's happening at the midpoint. And they are also tangent to each other. And then these pink circles are going to be tangent to the two white circles and each side of the rectangle, depending on where they are. And our goal is to find the radius of this pink circle. Okay, and we can do that by introducing a right triangle and then using Pythagorean's theorem. And before we do that, I wanna maybe announce that we're gonna have a video on the channel um, exploring the history of the Pythagoreans and maybe a little bit of the history of the Greek mathematical culture, and that's gonna be by a Greek professor from my college, Randolph College. So look out for that in the future. Okay, now let's maybe get into the solution. So I want to maybe start here with the center of this circle and the center of this circle. I can draw a line segment between those two centers, and that's gonna be pretty helpful. Then next, I can draw a radius of the circle down to here. So that goes from the edge of the circle up to the center. And then I can draw a line segment between these two like this. And that's gonna give me a right triangle. And now I can start thinking about side lengths of this right triangle. So let's start with the easy one first. So we know that this radius will be two. Let's see why we know that's two. Because that makes the diameter of this entire circle four. But notice we've got two identical circles stacked on top of each other. But that means that we need both of them to have diameter four in order for that to add up to eight. So we've got a radius of two there. Okay, that's good. Now let's look at the length of the hypotenuse. So we've got this portion here, which is a radius of the circle, and then we have a radius of our unknown circle making up the rest of it. So that makes this whole length right here r plus two. Now we've got one more part to find the length of, and that would be this bottom line segment. So this is a bit tricky, but if we extend this line segment out to the edge of the rectangle, we can now measure this nicely. So we know that this length right here is r, that's our unknown radius. But then we know that the length of this entire thing is three, because it's exactly half of the line segment which is making up the top and the bottom of this rectangle. But that means what's left over is this bit right here, which is gonna be three minus r. Okay, good. Now we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to this right triangle with side length two, three minus r, and hypotenuse r plus two. So let's do that. We'll have three minus r squared plus two squared equals r plus two squared. Now multiplying out this left-hand side will give us r squared minus six r plus nine. Then we have plus four from that, and then we'll have r squared plus four r plus four. Now we can cancel some things. So notice we can cancel this r squared with this r squared. This four will cancel with this four. We can take this six r and move it over building the equation 10r is equal to 9. In other words, this radius is equal to 9 over 10. And that's a good place to stop.